Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video because uh, I wanted to talk about the 25 million download campaign that is currently happening on JP and will happen to... Well, funny enough, we won't have... it won't be called 25 million campaign, but in two years' time, we will always... we will also get this. This comes from a light version of a stream that was happening uh, yesterday, I believe, depending on your time zone. It, it should have been yesterday. It was yesterday for me. Um... A super light. It was supposed to be a super light. Nobody expected anything, and it turned out there was a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to kind of talk about it and give my thoughts and opinions about it. And it's, al it's always a good way to look into the future, especially with two years planning, if you want to take advantage of the pity, or maybe you just want to look at the future and see what you won't be able to get. Either way, <laughs> let's get into it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. All right, let's go. So the login bonus for this specific 25 million download is... Whoa. Uh, login count, pretty simple. One to seven, ten tickets at the end. Pretty basic stuff at this point uh, for everything. Uh, other campaigns that are going to be going on at the same time, it's going to have a two times chance to get super and great success when strengthening CEs and servants. All Ember gathering and hunting grounds are open. Percival's interlude will be um, something you can do. We'll release on May 17th. Percival at 3rd Ascension and Bond Level 5 is how good you need to unlock it. There was a retweet campaign before I believe 30 Quartz, which means we will also get 30 Quartz when it comes down to it. And here's the thing that most people are talking about because it's been two years, they returned the 4 star SR ticket. Um, if you don't know, there hasn't been one in two years in Japan. The reason is, is that there was a 5 star ticket. So Fago is the type of game where you're saying like, surely they would give both. Not really. The reason is is that in Fago, funny enough, both 4s and 5s are equally hard to get and also kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Good. Yeah, let's go with good. They're both good and then also as wanted as others. It's a very different game where I feel like <laughs> Fago is a very different game from most other games. Mainly because every unit can kind of be used on whatever you want. It all just kind of depends on your playstyle. And the other thing is, is that it's the only gotcha that I can really tell. There's a couple more out there, actually, to be fair. Um, but it's one of the very few that actually gives a shit about anything below 5 star. So 4 stars, a lot of people have a lot of uh, 4 stars. Not because they're good. Uh, sometimes it's because they're good. But sometimes it's because it's literally a character they like. And the same thing goes for threes. There's three limiteds that I, I've... There's banners specifically that I've kept summoning on because I wanted the limited three on the banner. Um, and there's also twos, ones, and I've been trying to get the zero star uh, f uh, friend point gotcha unit since he was released. So, um, very different kind of game. So I kind of like it when they do this. There's also a ticket to get a CE, which is not as good because four CEs are much easier to get than anything else in here. Unless it's specifically event related and those are slightly harder to get. But here's the basic list of all the four stars. It goes up to, I think, the most recent... Yeah, it goes all the way up to, I think, the most recent releases of units. Uh, the big ones that are on here are, of course, all the ones that were released with Lost Belt 6, which is female Gawain and female Tristan. So if you really want to save up and just wait for them and not summon for them, you could, in theory, do that. I'm going to tell you right now, most people are probably going to summon for uh, them because they're super crazy fan favorites and they are very good units as well that you can use as that which is helpful um, but their popularity is insane someone saying that they're they have a banner out now where you can get them actually at least I know uh, Lady Gawain so two years time that's the next time we will get a four star ticket if you're someone asking will we what are the chances of this getting moved up um, not very they very rarely ever move up the ticket there has to be something crazy. Like Shrek says, someone better be dying if they are releasing a ticket early. So, something to plan ahead in the future. And the four C's are four C's. There's really nothing much. The one thing that's kind of nice is that you can choose from the Lost Belts. Any of the ones from the Lost Belts, which is pretty nice. You don't see that very often. They're very hard to get, especially if you're trying to get the max. So, limited missions. You clear Arc 1 and Arc 2 main quests. Do it up to seven times. Three, four, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen quarts. 
Not too bad. In the Da Vinci Workshop, we have the Shinjuku alternate outfit for Jolter. I don't think there was an animation update for her, but it is something nice. The Dragon Witch Shinjuku 1999 costume. Yeah, not my favorite costume of her from Shinjuku. I prefer the... The does she actually have it? The 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 dress? I don't think she does. No, that's the one I prefer for that one. But yeah, Jolter. I they should buff Jolter at some point. I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. I guess most people have moved on to the Berserker version. I guess new AP item hard to really compend with one being free and two being pretty good at what you do and three being in a swimsuit all the time. The new AP item, which is Bronze Saplings, by expending the Bronze Sapling in a portion of Master's current AP, 40 AP, a special Bronze Apple can be created. Bronze Sapling can be attained by clearing main quests to retroactively rewards are sent into your gift box. Login bonus, you get three, uh, are also given to players who log in during this time, clear Fuyuki, and this is basically a way to make unused stamina into something you can do later. Um, you can access the Bronze Apple's creation via AP refill. Using the slider to determine the amount of Bronze Apple you want to create, the amount available depends on your current AP, 40 AP per uh, Bronze Apple, and the amount of Bronze Saplings you own, one per Bronze Apple. So something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Pretty nice. Not too bad. I don't know how often I'm going to use this. I have more apples than I can count for, but there are plenty of people out there who would gladly take this and save it for a future time. Uh, game updates. These are the SR servants available for the tutorial summon. So in two years time, I'm going to have to redo this one because uh, it's a brand new list on here. There's actually a lot of good additions. There's a lot of very, okay, here's the one thing. This would be basically a very good list, except for the fact that they've kept Steno over uh, Martha and <laughs> Carmilla. And I think one other, I think it's Marie. Yeah, Marie. Uh, all three of those units are better than the Steno. There's no, except for the 100% charm under skill 2, which requires it to be 100%. There's no real redeeming qualities of Steno. You have to really, really be anti-male. And it's, she's so niche. It's She's niche, but then also Uriel is better. Because Uriel actually does damage on her NP. She doesn't. She has insta-kill, and most insta-kill units suck ass. Except for very few who don't. Like King Asan and uh, Assassin Shiki. So... She's like the one miss on here, but other than that, it's a pretty good uh, selection of units. Uh, Suna, uh, Laksimbe, uh, Emia, Zenobia, um, Elizabeth, the Valkyries, Astolfo, um, how do you pronounce her name? Dabrnanya, Nikitic, uh, Cersei, Naito, uh, Yangguing, Tamamoket. And Heracles. Yeah, other than Steno, I don't... And to be fair, I probably have some problems with Yankwing, but I think they buffed him a decent amount. Let me see. Have they buffed him a decent amount? Okay, no. He shall so not be... <laughs> I don't think they buffed him very much. Actually... Okay. They buffed him a decent amount. He's still better than Steno. But either way. Followers increase from 5 to 10. Detailed friend points gathered, so you'll really know what people like the most from you. First NP normal speed uh, revamped. Uh, mission rewards receive all button. Initial first time clear quest rewards for shown in one screen. Full screen NPs for these units. And this stuff we might actually be able to get early. I know for a fact the full screen NPs would be the easiest thing for us to get early. Some of these other quality of life, it's going to kind of depend on some things. They probably want to keep some of them for when the actual event comes out, but we'll see. But by then, there would be more quality of life stuff to come out. So this is the most likely thing. This is not likely, because it, it's a lot of new modern units. And actually, if we got this early, it would be actively terrible, because we wouldn't be able to have Zenobia and stuff like that. So, yeah. Very cool. Very nice game updates. Summoning campaign, and this is also a summoning campaign going on. Featuring, oh god, their true names are right below me, so I'm not going to look down. Uh, if you want to keep the mystery going, though, at this point, everyone knows their name. <laughs> but I'm still going to try, for spoilers' sake, not to say it. We have Artoria Caster, we have Female Gawain, and Female Tristan, as well as uh, Percival. They're available on the Summoning Campaign. And on Summoning Campaign 2, which is uh, more dudes, we have Miss Crane, Yang, Jean, Shuten, Cleo, and Jack. Cleo being, I think, the weirdest one on here. I wonder why she's on here, actually. 
I guess because there's some CEs that feature her. <laughs> I guess that that's good enough for them. Uh, real weird selection of units. The more I look at them, the more confusing I am. I guess it really is kind of based off of the C's. Mystery Treasure, sure. Honey Lake. But Miss Crane is on. I don't, yeah, I don't know about this one. But either way, I... Oh, I almost thought I got it there. And that's the campaign. So, two years time. Gonna be very interesting. I like that they've returned the four-star ticket. I do think that the five-star tickets are probably still gonna be only for really big things like anniversary basically wait for anniversary if you're wondering if because now that lasagna owns fago there are changes being made to the game so in theory they could be much more generous for the five star but i'm gonna say right now the five star ticket was always a battle to get and the fact that we've gotten it twice um is very nice but I wouldn't expect it a third time, and honestly, you should not come to expect the five-star ticket to always be there. But when it's time for a big celebration, like I think in this 30 million download celebration, I think you would expect a um, SR, SSR ticket for that. And that's only because by that point, it would have already been a year and a half since then, because that's usually the rate they go for the million download campaigns. So yeah cool stuff all around really wanted to talk about it and also there was uh, they confirmed that the 6.5 servants they showed a lot of sil silhouettes i think roland was one of the silhouettes and the dude who was in the male uh fight not the male fight the male story for uh white day he's confirmed constantine and he's going to be the next uh summoning campaign i think for stuff so and they showed a bunch of silhouettes for other units, and it looks a lot like it's going to be the 12 Paladins of Charlemagne. Not all 12, but Charlie was on there and Roland was on there, so it be begs to reason that uh, there are other knights. Maybe Rugario will show up, maybe he won't. We'll see. Will Rugario show up before the rerun of the Bradamante event? Let's find out. But yeah, that's enough for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you ended up liking the video, you can always leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. Tell me what you're looking forward to the most in two years' time. Or if you're playing JP now, tell me what you would like about this the most. Some of the, a lot of the stuff sounds really cool. I can't wait to try it eventually when it comes to NA. And that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!